Here's where you come over here and go to the bathroom and take a shower. If there's any water, let's check. Looks like there is. Yeah. Water. At least they got water. Let's see if the bathrooms are open. Nope. Locked. Locked. They put the triangle on the doors and then locked the bathrooms. It's all locked. They want you to do all of this. They printed all of this up for you so you can follow all their rules and laws and everything with the dog and the motorhome and the everything. Don't leave me behind. Check your rig before you leave. Pack it. Pick up after your dog. Don't feed the wildlife. Dispose of all waste. Here's all this. And this. And there you have that. And the bathrooms are locked, ladies and gentlemen. Nice and locked. You pay for it, they have the key. You want them to run your preschools, keep giving them your money. They're all locked. You paid for the, all of this. And there it is. I'm surprised water even comes out of the... It doesn't. The water fountain. Look. No water. No water. Broken water fountains. America has failed, ladies and gentlemen. Failed. It stinks. It smells like sulfur. This place over here is nasty as can be. There's gas fumes coming off all that water over there and it stinks so i don't know what the deal is but i could see it coming off the water i don't know if you can but it's heavy duty strong fumes getting in my throat no trespassing on your own property again just like they arrest granny at school and they don't want me looking around you see why you see why Here's your taxpayers' dollars at work right here. Look over there at that water, whatever that gas fume is coming off the water. I gotta get out of here, man. I'm getting dizzy. Whatever that crap is down there, it stinks. It's coming off the water. Morning. There's gas fumes coming off the water. Yeah. You see that? There's something going on in our country. You see the gas fumes coming off that water? Keep paying your taxes. Look at that. Yeah. Muy peligroso. Yeah. Vaya con Dios. Porque mira este hombre, ellos sabe, y nosotros no. Él sabe, porque tiene dinero. Look at the fumes coming off of that thing. That guy knows, I told him. They have the money, and we don't. And so all of those fumes are coming off of the water. And it smells like soap we're out there. Better be careful out there. There's chemicals. There's all a layer of chemicals coming off that water. Oh, okay. And it smells like sulfur the closer you get. Really? Yes. What's happening? I don't know. But the whole road's closed. It's always closed because they're working on that. They're working on the ramp. How long have they been doing that? All summer? No, it's just like this That's the summer. 
Thank you. You do the same, ma'am. This is it, folks. Sulfur. A layer of sulfur coming off the water. And you can smell it really strong in here and thick and strong. So, uh, you might want to be careful coming down to Pismo Beach. You might start floating from the sulfur, the strong sulfur coming off the ocean water. It's very humid and hot, like the, it feels like uh, I could be in maybe Costa Rica, or one of those countries that are really super hot, you know what I mean? This is the front of the restaurant, there's a cat over there. I'm not sure if the restaurant's open. Looks like it might be. What's up, dude? What's your name, Sulphur? Are you the Sulphur cat? Are you gonna talk to me? I'm talking to you. Don't be a Karen. Oh, Shauna. That's you, Shauna. Okay. Don't worry, Shauna. I won't hurt you. <laughs> I won't hurt you like you've hurt me with your nasty words. But I knew you were stalking me. Pinchi carona. Un gato. But I won't hurt you, Shauna. All right? Matter of fact, are you hungry? Let me go see if they have any tuna in here. Hold on. I'll go get you some milk and tuna. I'm nice like that. Award of excellence. <laughs> <laughs> best in slow. Oh, if this is the best, I wonder what is the rest. Shauna, what have you done to the place? Oh, look, Shauna's. Fine seafood. Look at this place. wonder if their bathrooms are open. Oh, no, we closed them. Because of COVID. We had to close the bathrooms. Everything is so different, Shauna. It's really messy and dirty. Now that you're in charge. See what happens when you have a bad attitude? The whole place goes to hell in a handbasket. And you can't save it. It took a lot of Americans to bring this place to life. And you've killed it. You've gone and killed it with your negativity. Que malo gente. Na na na. Very malo. You know what I'm saying? Even the cat is distraught and weary. Run along. I doubt anybody's coming today. It's all closed. I can't get you anything. So sorry. If you were a little nicer, I might try harder, but since I know who you are, I'll leave you there to starve. Little rodent. Ah, oh, there's bathrooms over here, but I'm assuming they're locked. And we got this, uh, these guys over here with the keys. Apparently, they're the ones with the power. And the cojones, they got the llaves. There she goes, she's dropping them. She can't even unlock the bathroom without dropping the, the keys.
Well, we bought him a nice truck, huh? Really nice truck. This guy's over here waiting to use the bathroom. What time do you guys open the bathrooms? Right now. What time is it? 7.30 about. Oh. So basically whenever you get around to it. No, we start our shift at 7. At 7? Yeah. Well, there's people out here like at sunrise. Yeah, we understand, but this is the time we start shift. So is that what they pay you for? or Because this is a mess and I'm a taxpayer and I'm not happy about it. So uh, you guys got a brand new truck over there, a real nice truck we bought you to work in. There's this gentleman out here standing out here for like half an hour waiting to get in the bathroom, which is unnecessary. Yeah, we're going to open them for right now. You, they should be open already. We shouldn't have to wait for you. We understand. No, you don't. If you understood, you change it. It was not up to us to change our policy. So who changes it? People at Sacramento. Sacramento? In what department? That's a big place. Ma'am, we have a job to do. If you'd like these restrooms to be open sooner, would you It's obvious to me that you guys are not doing your jobs. We are trying to do our job right now. Well, you're late. So we're going to start doing that now. Thank okay. you very much. Um, well, All right. And your name, Aaron Knight? I am Aaron Knight. And you, um, sir? My name is Edgar. Edgar, hi Edgar, hi Aaron. Well, nice to meet you both. Day, we are going you too. To continue to do our jobs I'm very concerned. Open this up as soon as possible. I'm very Thank concerned very about the condition of our country. These bathrooms, these bathrooms, Aaron, should be open at six o'clock in the morning. At six o'clock. Or you could put toilet paper out here and some bigger bags for poo poo. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what they all say. These guys have to use the bathroom at 6 o'clock. 5.30, 6 o'clock, they're out here. What do you want them to do, hold it? We paid for this. Do you have a house that you can go home to? And use the I don't answer questions, ma'am. I'm out here camping in Pismo Beach, and I expected to be able to come camping and use the bathroom. There are camps, and you guys have the bathrooms are, closed. Campsites. You got the road closed. Yeah. This stuff belongs to us, so give us the key All right. so we can open the bathroom. You can continue your job. I'm not stopping you from doing your job. Open the damn bathrooms and get over here at 6 o'clock in the morning like everybody else does. All right, ma do you have a bathroom at your house, ma'am? Aaron? Yes, you do. And the reason this place is in ill repair and completely a dump is because of people like you. Now, if I was in charge of this park and the bathrooms thereof, I would be out here at daybreak with the key and I would open the bathroom. As a matter of fact, I'd leave it open because the bathrooms belong to the people. We paid for it. And we paid for this truck. And we're paying this guy's salary to come over here at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning to open the bathroom. And there's people all over the place. And these bathrooms belong to us. And here's this missing kid again, right up here. This kid's missing. If anybody sees him, call. call the police if you see this kid. He's been missing since August 27th from Napomo. Oh no. Terrible. All right, Erin. Have a good day, ma'am. God bless you. You too. I'm just doing my job. You got to watch Auditing America. Watch Auditing America and all the auditing channels and you'll see why I'm doing this. She's a sweet lady. They're nice people. I'm not, you know, I'm not putting them down, but this place stinks. And we cannot have, you know, <laughs>
This right here says 6 a.m. Look. The sign right here. 6 a.m. So the sun's not coming out yet. This restaurant is closed. And all these people are coming up here and parking. I don't know why. What are you guys doing up here? This place is like closed down. What are you guys doing up here? Because the place, they're just now opening the bathrooms and the restaurant's closed. You getting more tattoos? Look at them. They're all walking up there. Ah, freaky deep. Damn. That's freaky, man. I'm telling you. It stinks. It's getting in my throat. The kind of uh, the way it feels on your skin is really strange, man. It's like uh, my hair sticking up straight up out of my head. I feel like I'm on an electric, electric planet. And like the sun's supposed to be coming up over here. All of a sudden it's hiding back there poked its little head out and then it went back in there <laughs> like uh oh what is she doing now better keep an eye on her oh, I left my window down and this lady's thing over here says uh, a bunch of stuff I got it earlier but I'll get it again because I like it. <laughs> Somebody that does this, my kind of, my kind of person. Make America united again. <laughs> She's got signs over here, signs over there. Yeah, it smells pretty good over here. That sign back there. Yep, crack is expensive. <laughs> Pretty funny though. Alright, so the sun's supposed to come up over here. It's not coming up. This is Pismo. Like I said, the road is closed. You can't get in. No parking. Not a very inviting place. I would recommend not coming here. So, that's my opinion. Take it or leave it. Here's my new sticker. Here's one of them. Okay? And I'll show you the other one I got. It's right back here. There it is. My two stickers and my... There's a flower. And that's my sister's initials, but I won't tell you who she is. It's private. No. My sisters are my favorites. My favorite in the world. And my mama. So, my sisters and my mama, they're all angels. Every one of them. So, I turned out different. Sorry, Shauna. I couldn't feed you over there, but I think it's better than being a maggot, don't you? And um, the sassy old lady on there with the red, white, and blue. You might want to change your colors because your message and your negativity, it's not being sassy. It's being mean. So you could put it to mean, grumpy old grandma. Since you want to talk about me, you know, might as well be honest. Holy Toledo Terry. Look at this dude. There's another one. Oh no. There's another one. Looks like that lady over at the bathroom called him. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Our people are funny, aren't they? I'm like, open the bathrooms. 
They should be open sooner. They want to come over here and show off. Hold on, let me get my hat on. Good at there. there they are over there, they called the police on you. There's another one coming too. That's the problem with these people, the ego thing, you know, that they want to stand there and act like they're, you know, enforcing some kind of law that they're not enforcing. It's like, don't be a clown. They shouldn't have called them for in the first place. And in the second place, I'm not going over here to talk to them about their guns. California State Parks, you know, the sheriff, the police, the sheriff, the highway patrol, the this, the that. We're paying for all of this, all of their vehicles and everything. Here you go, all that junk that's in there. Can you see it inside there? You pay for all of that and this and all this, this big huge fat truck right here and this one. Another one with the radio on and everything. These trucks, man. There was one more coming. I don't know where he went. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Pretty good. Just checking out all your rad trucks and everything you guys got around here. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Our rad what? Trucks and everything. Oh, trucks, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do all right. Yeah, I was just telling them that there's people wandering all around here at sunrise and needing to use the bathroom that we paid for, and it's locked. Unfortunately, it doesn't open directly at sunrise. Well, it should. Okay. If you'd like to see something like that changed... I will. Okay. I you can. don't need to know. I'm just saying that you guys should have done it long before I got here. All right. Well, if you already... The public people the pay for this. That's, that's the people... We do. We pay for this. Uh -huh. These guys show up at like 7.30 in the morning all... Uh, uh, I'm like... This guy's been over here standing there for a hat. Look at all these people. Well, they're just going about their, their business, enjoying their mornings, it looks like. Just spoke with someone that was walking their dog. Uh, we got another couple of people walking Colleen up. Colleen and Jensen. You got a badge number? 1745, man. And yours? 1865. 1865? Okay. Yeah, well, these people got to wash their hands. They got to go to the bathroom. We do open them as soon as we're able to. I mean, they got doggy they bags out here, but from, no people uh, bags. Yesterday's visitors. We can't just open a, a not clean bathroom because the public wouldn't appreciate that either. Well, then we need new management. Somebody that has a brain to say, well, maybe we should clean them at night when there's nobody here and open them when there are people here. Okay. Because they're closing the bathrooms at McDonald's, Starbucks, all over the place. And you guys are going to have a city full of, you know, waste. And your kids are going to pay for it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Well, that's, I've been coming here since I was a baby with my dad riding dune buggies up on the beach. And I come over here, you can't even get in. The road's closed. Oh, so you must have gone down to Devil's Slide back when I was over. Yeah. Beautiful spot out there. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. Look yeah, what happened to it. Hill when it was actually big. Yes. Not all worn down like it is now. I know. Yeah, the good old days, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. You go out there anymore? No. Why not? Look at it. My dunes are still there. You can still go out to Independence. Boneyard, main form flats, still some pretty good dunes out there. Really? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. It's worth the drive. Down that way, right? Just keep going down that way? Well, those areas are south within the park. Yeah, you'd have to enter. Oh, they are? Yeah. 
Oh, you'd have to enter like in here. You'd either have to go in at Grand or Pier. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Unfortunately, Grand's closed right now. So you can go in at Pier over there. Yeah, you can go in at Pier, drive, okay. drive south with Day Pass, and go explore the dunes again. Oh, okay. No, I don't have time for that. Okay. My whole mission is all different now. No time for playing around. Okay. So what would that be? My mission? Yeah. I'll go for it. You're looking at it. Okay. Clean, well, walk, around, to make the country the beautiful thing. again. Yeah, that would be great. That'd you know, great. to to make America united again. All right. So we're all living in our country together instead of the way it is. I There's way too many law enforcement, way too many law enforcement officers paying these 19-year-old kids, giving them guns, badges, taser guns, mace. Taser's not a gun. It's a big a ego. It doesn't matter. Okay. It hurts like hell. It does. I've been tased. Yep. I, I wouldn't want to be, but no, I don't, want to be I don't think anybody should be. Well, Not even people, a dog. Some, some people, it's, it is an effective tool. I'm sure. So would my fist in your face if you didn't have all that on. Okay. Well, I mean, I, you know I, what I'm I, saying? You didn't punch me. I wouldn't punch you, but I'm just saying, you're saying a taser is an ineffective tool. It, it's an unhumane tool. Well, that could be your opinion. That's fine. Yes, it is. Okay. Did you just see the guy they shot over here and killed him and his dog? Uh, I didn't witness any shooting, no. Well, you should look it up. It happened in, in L.A. Okay, that's not just... A black here. man, that's 23 like years old, shot miles him. Miles south. Shot him on the corner right over here. That's not just over here. Where he had no weapon. In L it's right here down south in L.A. This is all California, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't consider... That, that Governor Newsom is... Uh, right is, uh, you know, crapping all over. I'm sorry, what? Nancy Pelosi got caught drunk, drunk driving. She got a DUI. Well, then she should be prosecuted, I guess. The governor over there in uh, another county here in California, I won't tell you who he is, he just had to resign because he's embarrassed about his drug problem. So, you know, they're out there smoking crack using our taxpayer money instead of fixing stuff. Well, then we should have uh, drug services to help them out. Yeah, we should. But they don't do that for the people, the civilians, do they? No, I wish they would. But when the problem becomes theirs, then things will change. Maybe. And they won't be working in there anymore. Okay. Because they've destroyed our country. And people like us, you, her, and me, need to be smart enough to take it back. Because when you give a little 19-year-old rookie, I'm 62 years old. Okay. I grew up in L.A., went to school there, born there, raised there. I'm not like these people that come over here that don't have any street smarts. Mm -hmm. I can take care of my own. Okay. But what I'm saying is you don't give a 19-year-old rookie a gun, a badge, and all this power, 150 grand, and expect him not to go over there and arrest somebody when they tell him to. Okay. That's called Naziville. Let me see your papers. Let me see your ID. Put your hands behind your back. You're arrested for being on pre public property and all this stuff. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Yeah, I don't agree with what you're saying, but you're welcome to your opinion. Well, you don't because you're getting paid for what you're doing, right? I do get paid for having a job, yes. And so would you do that if you weren't getting paid? Most likely, no, I'd find a job that would pay me. You would? I would like to be paid for work, yes. So you wouldn't do that if you weren't getting paid, right? I wouldn't do any job if I was not being paid for it. Would you work for God? No. Not for... I don't believe in God, so I would not work for him. You don't? Nope. I'm an atheist. Okay. So do you believe in the devil? No. And you don't believe in hell? No. Well, you will when you get there. All right, man. Have a nice day. You as well. Shandula. Touche. You'll believe in it when you get there. Another atheist. Nasty. That old Chevy truck. There's a golf course over there. He oh, got an earful. A dirty butt. That's crap. Santa Maria.
Anyway, this place is quite the pigsty. Keep paying your taxes. <laughs> Look at the parking lot, it got full all of a sudden. This guy's like a robot. Yes, ma'am. Yep, I know. Mm hmm. Look here, I get paid. Would you do that if you didn't get? Nope. I find a job that paid me. Well, would you work for God for free? Nope. Jeez. No wonder he doesn't believe in God. There's another one right over there waiting at the entryway. Anyway. If they were that eager to come out here and fix things, maybe it wouldn't be such a big mess. They all want to play cowboys and Indians. Indians. Ta-ta.